All right, Nathan, what are we doing today? All right, what we are working on today is not the HQ. <laughs> It's the HG. We're going to roll in the HG. We don't have our diff back yet for the HQ. We're getting close to the hard ass 1000 as well. Yep. Uh, so <laughs> looks like Michael is going untested this year. Yep. But we're going to get the HG back in. We can't put it on the hoist, so we're doing it old school on the ground. We want to button up the brakes today. So yeah, let's roll it in, get it on some jack stands and uh, get dirty. Yes, yes. Let's do it. Old school. Old school. Oh, how good is it having a hoist in your shed that you can't use when you're going to do a job that needs a hoist? Well, it doesn't need a hoist, but it'd make life a lot easier for us today. It will. There's only one thing we have to do laying under the car, and it's running the main brake line, and we might as well run the fuel line while we're under there. But the rest is done at the wheel well, so we can sit on our tushies and like build the rear, the rear uh, drum brakes. Yep. Uh, the front brakes are already obviously there. So we've just got to make brake lines. Uh, the proportioning valve needs to be rebuilt. We've got a rebuild kit there. Another fun one to rebuild. <laughs> Let's get into it. Oh, oh go on. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the reach. Oh, we're doing an old school today. We are on the floor, on our backs, on our jack stands. So, continuing with our tradition of things just getting drip fed onto the HQ from the factory, we have HQ. the air cleaner on today. So we're going to throw this on just because we want a complete look. She's got the look. <laughs> Should we go this way for a ram air intake? <laughs> it's cold air. Well, that, looks, that looks good all together now, doesn't it? It does. It also hides the fact that we don't have a working linkage with the accelerator yet, but we'll get there. Looks really good. All right. All so, right. What are we getting on with today? I got everything out for you. So we have a bunch of pipes and tubes here that we need to clean up, paint, and get them under the car, hopefully to finish this brake system off. Now, there's a few things we need to change from original. You notice right here, this is our original brake distribution block. There is no rear proportioning valve in this thing because originally this thing, it would have been drum rear end and drum front. They don't have a proportioning valve. Now that we have the disc front end, we need a proportioning valve to reduce the, I think it reduces the pressure going to the, the drums and increases pressure to the disc. That's how it works, I think. Easiest way that we do this and the recipe that we're sort of following, because this is a very common conversion, doing a HG is to use HQ or H, this is a HJ one actually. Yeah. A HJ proportioning valve. Pretty much as you can see, it looks exactly, bye. It looks the same in the front end there, which this is your brake distribution block, but it has this proportioning valve at the back. So it's all in one unit. So. We need to retrofit this into the HG today. We also need to make up a mount, which I just realized, Nathan, because yes. it's never had a mount. And then connect all this to our master cylinder and everything like that. Another thing we need to do today, and we have to say a big thank you to Adam uh, for helping us out once again with some brake parts, because you might remember we've been searching for some missing links in the brake system on the rear drums in this thing. Adam got two complete units from the swap meet. I know. 20 bucks. A swap meet buy. How good is a swap meet buy these days? You just don't see it anymore. What we've been missing is pretty much this mechanism right here on the Drive passenger side. side. Passenger side, yes. Passenger side, side yeah. which yeah. is the rear handbrake adjustment lever mechanism thing here. It stops this from unwinding, basically. So now we finally have that. We can button up the rear brakes. And we thought, oh yeah, that's sweet. That means we can actually bleed these brakes today and it'll be great. No, we forgot something. In this master booster setup that we had, we forgot that we have an issue where the push rod, which goes from booster to master cylinder, isn't quite long enough. Now that could be because we, from the comments, a lot of you guys said that we may have dropped the, what's it called again? The Reaction disc into the booster. What he just said, into the booster, which if it is put back into place, it may have dropped into the booster or we never had it. It might push the rod further out and then it might work yeah. or at least today, we need to actually figure out what bolt we're going to replace that with. We need to suss that out today, so we might not get to bleed them today, but today, hopefully, we're going to finish up with a closed circuit, which is what we're aiming for. Yeah. So let's get into it. What do you want to start with? I'm going to pull that booster out. It's already undone. Yeah. Pull that booster out. Let's see if we can sort that out first. But we still got to rebuild this. Nathan said, because, you know, we did such a good job on the carby. <laughs> He goes, how hard can it be? We'll do this as well too. So this is going to be Nathan's job today, not mine. I'll oh, hand this over to Nathan and he's going to rebuild it because <laughs> that way, you know, we're going to share the load of blame when the Fair brakes enough. don't work. And, and the carby doesn't, doesn't work. Don't work. <laughs> Good thing is what I did isn't as important as brakes. This is for HK, HT, HG. This is out of HJ. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's not going to work, is it? Because they're all the same, pretty much. There. Alrighty, I'm going blind. There you go. That's the snap you want. You need to just give it a good slap. 
Hey! Just gonna slap you. you. Ready? Yep. You really wanna stand there? It's good. Yeah, I'm not standing there. Oh, Jesus. Tight. Oh, flies can't even hold it. Not magnetic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's one O-ring. I can see a spring. We've got one rubber there. That's obviously for that one. We've got another O-ring there. For that. It's very interesting how it works. Yeah, I can see like how that Pushes into there and yeah. closes up that. Cool, isn't it? Yeah. This is probably where those specialized tools come into play <laughs> and specialized knowledge. Okay. It's just going to be a touch more to it. I wonder if it's like a. Because you know how there's like a head on that? On yeah, the, like, I think tool. I think there's a claw tool that I reckon maybe pry it out. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so where are we at? Uh, I don't know how to get the front piston out. Thinking of just, I'll put a new O-ring on that and a new seal on that. Think maybe just put it back together. The issue is the piston's still in there. We can't get the piston out and we're worried about damaging it, trying to get it out. And then we damage this and we're screwed. So maybe we just do this half rebuild because this was fairly simple and easy to do. And if it doesn't work, then we can worry about the rest later. I think so. Look, it's pretty easy to pull this out yeah, and rebuild the whole thing if need be. I think it's just really tight in there, um, but there's got to be a trick to getting that out, and we don't know the trick. Nope. All right, so half done, back out rebuild, here we come. Uh, you just want to smack things, but they're hard to get. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to clean it up and just put it back together. That way we can move on. All back together? Yeah, all back together. Really not satisfied with the outcome, but we'll see how we go. I'll put a new bolt in. Well, we should know straight away if it doesn't bleed when the time comes, then we've got an issue. Oh, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like, I think it's going to work. But, you know, like, we've got new seals there. We might as well put them in. But yeah. That's what's frustrating. But it doesn't matter. It is what it is. All right, so I pulled the booster out to see if we can find this reaction disc. So from what I can tell, the reaction disc is literally just like a piece of rubber and all it is there is to give you good pedal feel to sort of like take up the absorption or something like that but if it's missing it can mean that like we said we lose travel like this push rod doesn't go as far as it needs to into the master cylinder now a lot of people say like when you pull these out which we sort of did when we we're trying to measure out a bolt to try and get our length and everything right they can fall out it looks like and i'm going to really struggle to show you guys but seeing there there's a little like disc in there that's the reaction valve in there. It looks like it's still in place. I gave it a, a shake as well too, to hear if it fell into the diaphragm or the baffle, whatever they call it. And there's nothing in there. So I think it's a case of, we need to just put a longer bolt in that to get it to work, which is sort of what we did in the HQ, in the LSQ as well too. It all seems to be there. So I'm gonna put it back together, put it back in, and we can keep going from there by the looks of it. All right, sweet. So this is something we're not used to. Old school, back to basics. Luckily we got solid jack. Missing that needs to replace that at a later stage. So don't have it today. The more I clean this spring the more it comes back to life. <laughs> oh, it actually has a spring. <laughs> yeah, like right now it's solid as, but the more I, <laughs> why I wheel it, the more it's actually coming back. Yeah, right. So this is the main fuel line, because I'm pretty sure it picks up fuel from inside the car. Does it? Yeah, so this would go inside the car oh, to the yeah, tank. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then this would be external following underneath the body. 
So I might as well just clean this up. There's heaps of lines to be cleaned up. I'm going black with this one. I've noticed. Because uh, it's, it's under not the silver. Tarp. Good as new? Good as new. Nearly walks into it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who put that there? So once again, a massive, massive thank you to Adam. Uh, he sourced these for us because he, he went, knew we were missing yeah. parts. He went, this guy's such a legend. He went out of his way to go find these at a swap meet and buy them for us knowing that we needed them. How good is that? He's absolute legend. Main thing we needed was this bracket here. Yes. Um, but now we've got like a good comparison, old to to new, and we're pretty much right. Should we're be right. That arm there, and we're just missing that. Of course you're right. I did it. Well, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the missing link that we've been waiting for with these brakes, where we could finish them off. Unfortunately, it means we still can't bleed them today. We're not there because we don't have that rod, but that's okay. And this will make all these brakes pretty much brand new now. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Hey, what was that? The barrel? Okay, we're coming to get in the way of it. <laughs> I'm in, I'm done. Whew, that was harder than it needs to be. What you doing? Trying to figure out how this fuel line goes. Doesn't make sense? Well, thing is, there's a clamp right there, but it does not go through there. All right, I know where this one goes now, and I've like put it in. So what I'm gonna do now is paint this line, so then I'm not scratching the living shit out of it like I've done to this one. <laughs> this one has to be bent. Like it's just, it just does not work. So. I need to have this one in so then I know where it's going to end up. Yeah. So then I can like at least know where that's going to go because it's it's got to be out of whack. Like there's a kink there because it just does not work. Something's not right, yeah. Yeah, so I'll paint this so then I can put this one in. I'm going to try and put this big long hard line in because this is our brake line and see where it ends up. All right. This is a game I like to call which is the butt. I reckon that's diff end. I reckon. Oh, I would have said the other way around. Yeah, sorry, no, I'm with you, yes. All right. Shall we do it? Yeah. Shall we do the dance with the devil? Yes. Alrighty! <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got a clip here that lines up. So. Yeah, yeah, it's through there, yeah? yeah? See, that's where the fuel line should go through. That's where I jammed it through and it didn't freaking work. So I've got a clip back here and I've got a clip here. Well, I know where it wants to go. It needs to go on the other side of the steering column, but there's no point trying to deal with it right now. People are going to have to put the proportioning valve in to see where this is all going to live. All right, so we have our main line in from front to rear at the minute. It's just sitting there for the moment, but we ran it up to where originally it would go. And it turns out it works out to be almost perfect. I've plugged it in at the back here, and we can probably bend this to sort of sit right here, which is probably where standard was, very close to here anyway. And we can just run our lines straightened here so it's going to work quite well i reckon uh so i'm going to make the these little brake lines here that feed into this it's all kind of eyeballing because it's like free hanging but you get the idea that needs to be a lot tighter <laughs> <laughs> i'm way off uh while he does that i'm going to make a bracket to mount this it's just going to be a simple little like kind of like an L but not an L bendy bracket you'll see when i make it that does go nowhere. So I'm just welding a nut onto my bracket. So that when I put this, when I weld this to the guard, which is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna weld that section of the guard and this makes it straight. It means, if I didn't just weld the bolt to it, that you can just uh, do it up nice and easy, not worrying about trying to put a nut on the other side. No, we're good, we're good. So now it's a captive nut, so I don't have to worry about trying to like put a nut and bolt on either side. That's yep. hot. A bit warmer than me though, so it's a bit <laughs> <laughs> There, little Plug well. Nice, Gary. Just like a factory one in a minute, what? Beautiful, Gary. 
Well done, Michelle. <laughs> Remember the play? Huh? Remember the locking nut? Alrighty. <laughs> Look at all that! For just that! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. I want to do that. Damn, it doesn't look like that. Stop this is really mad. Really annoying, that's the bloody magnet. Alright, I hope you are now. Where are you up to in the shed? Is it, does it go to the front one, does it? Yeah, it is. All right, well, we have everything, the hard lines. It is a closed circuit system for the first time in God knows how many years. It is now a closed circuit system. That is nice to say. Yep. Um, they're all ran. So hard lines just run down to the disc on that side, and then this one would run underneath the cross member to this side, which we think either that's the way it might have been done or it might have been done over the firewall. It doesn't look like it's gone over the firewall in photos. No, I reckon it's been underneath That is normal well, for HQ and stuff. Yeah. There. So. That's where the HQ runs, so it yeah. makes sense to me, but... So we'll just run it there. But it looks good. Look how good this looks. It looks so brand new. It does. But obviously we can't do anything bleeding wise until we have the push rod correctly sorted. So we're going to get a bolt to do the push rod length properly. Yep. And then we can start bleeding the system out and see if we've got brakes. Yeah. We don't have time to go to the bolt shop now. It's already three, four o'clock. Yep. So we will get back to this in another day. Yep. All right. It is another day. Uh, and we have our bolt. We actually bought two bolts. So this is the bolts that I was talking about. That what we're going to do is we're going to send these into the master cylinder and these are what is their adjustability, which is pretty much how every push rod works going into a master cylinder. I bought two, one with a hex head and one with an Allen key. In the past, we have used a hex head. I just rounded it off and made it all nice and smooth and it worked okay. But this time I thought I'm going to go with an Allen key because I reckon that might work better. And luckily I did because it actually fits quite well. It's going to go perfectly in there. I am going to round this just a little bit because inside here, I can't show you, but there is, it's like a dome. So we'll try and get it to fit just a little bit better. And what this is going to do is this is going to basically go into here. We screw it into there. We find our adjustability so that when there's nothing on the pedal, this is just about, you know, a couple of mil off from touching the master cylinder piston and that'll work perfectly. Once we have done that, what are we going to do next, Nathan? Bleed the brakes. We're gonna bleed the brakes and we should have our first working system in this car if it works. So I'm gonna ground this down, clap this in, put a little bit of Loctite on there so she doesn't move around as well too. And then we're gonna go through, tighten up all our flare nuts because one thing we've learned when we're doing brakes, what you think is tight is not tight. When you go to bleed the brakes, we will have many leaks. We will wanna make sure that everything is tight. And then we're going to put some fluid in this thing and work our way around. And then we're going to call it a day on the brakes. Should be finished. Let me grind this down and we'll put, put this in. It's a bit of a delay, eh? Anybody watching from Heron Falls? So that's all it needs to be, just to round off the dome a little bit so that it centers itself. It should be fine anyway. This Allen key is about the same width as the shaft or the rod itself, so it's pretty good. That's a lot of Loctite. That is a lot of Loctite. It's not coming off. Is that is that even going to be in the thread though? <laughs> I just realized that, yeah. <laughs> You've gone way up there. It should be. So now push the pedal till we find the dead spot. Oh, oh how, how, that's, that's perfect. That feels perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. The dead spot is like... Yeah, it's got that as soon as you dead spot. Yeah, as soon as you, it's like a couple mil dead spot before it actually hits the yeah. master. That's fine. All right, we're all nipped up, ready to go. Yeah. What we're going to do now is we're going to um, fill the fluid, fill the system with fluid. Bye. And see if she leaks. Not and see if she leaks, and find the leaks. Yeah, you're not confident. It's brakes, man. We've never got brakes right once where I haven't had to leak. That was close. <laughs> Oh, I hear drips. Ah, oh, it's my side. It's coming from the bleeder. Oh, bleeder, okay, cool. 
It helps if you close the bleeder before you start doing this. But it probably actually helped us get the fluid to come through, to be honest. It probably wasn't the worst thing in the world. It's not dropping anymore, so I think we've got a ton of air in the system, so... Should we start bleeding? Start bleeding, I guess. Work our way around. Let's do it. We're not going to record this, because this always takes forever, and <laughs> it's always a pain. So we'll tell you how it goes, and we finish up. It is now 10 past 10. Let's see what time we finish. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Yeah, surprisingly, I'm not seeing any leaks. <laughs> if this is no, if this doesn't leak. This is the first time in history we've ever had something that hasn't leaked. Up, down, down. Oh, we're looking good. Yeah, that looks good. Down, no, up. I'm sorry. <laughs> up. Done. What? Not a leak. What is going on here, Michelle? Topsy turvy world. Far out, mate. It's like we're getting better at restoring cars. No, no, it must be that rattle can rest, though. Oh my god, I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Feel good? <laughs> yeah. Push test? I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> that feels good. All right, let's put some wheels in this sucker and give her a push. That's what I'm talking about. And hopefully it stops. Hopefully. You ready? Let's give it a push. Uh, let's go. Okay, I'm not going very fast, I like midway out. Uh, push. Not very fast. Uh, Probably need to adjust the brakes, eh? Uh, ready? Hang on. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Something nearly killed me. <laughs> they work. <laughs> High five, dude. Something works that we did. How's it feel? Feels good, huh? Yeah, they feel good. It needs that brace. Look at the uh, mask cylinder move. Yeah, I know. I gotta make that. <sighs> How good is that? First thing that works in the HG. <laughs> All right, Nathan. That is a success. We've never had success with brakes like this. Yeah, today was a good. Oh, well, this is the two day out of this one. But it was a good two days. Uh, we finished the braking system, which is awesome because it's the first completed running fluid mechanical system on this car that is now done. We've also run the fuel lines. Uh, as well, but the brakes, not a leak. Not a leak. We've made the lines in a day. We ran it all. We come in this morning. We retightened everything to giant spec. <laughs> and then it just bled a breeze. Stops. You gotta remember everything is brand new in the braking system on this. It's got brand new rebuild calipers at the front, HQ with discs. The rears have been machined out. It's got brand new everything. Yep. So the only thing that is original is the big long line. We couldn't be bothered remaking that. There was nothing wrong with it. Yep. So we re reused that so we one. We reused that one and we reused the diff line and it's perfect. I'm yep. so happy. We're very, very happy with this. Yeah. Before we leave today, I've got a couple of things to mention. I want to mention as well too. We should mention we're going to the Hard Ass 1000. So yeah. if anyone doesn't know what the Hard Ass 1000 is, it is another drag and drive event run by the Hall Ass Garage Boys, which is Harry Hague and his son, Corey. And we're currently going to that. Fairlane, always ready. Actually, it's not ready. Um, I gotta go over it, but <laughs> Fairlane ain't always ready, but the Kiwi is supposed to be getting a limited slip in it, so Michael can do some burnies, but we're still waiting on it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we should get there back in the next couple of days, but yes. we just wanted to give you a heads up that we are going to that event, it's going to be a wicked event. Yeah, uh, so come follow down along, yeah, come, yeah, come say hello, along. follow along. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it, I think it's going to be a gross event. Because the Kiwi and the Fairlane are both doing it, so it's going to be... Schmicky. We're going to 14 people, 14. <laughs> yeah, Michael said he's going to launch it off the two-step, so that'll be fun. No, we're looking forward to that. That's in two weeks. Yeah. And also, if you haven't, make sure you do check out the Elmore Tractor Pool. We're going to be there as well on the 16th of March. Yep. Uh, we're going to be there. There's going to be blown tractors and big high horsepower tractors pulling sleds. It's going to be sick. And yep. uh, they're going to let us drive one of them as well. I know. Yeah. And on the 17th of March, <laughs> we're going to be at all four day on the TI performance stand with the Fairlane. Uh, come say hi as well. Yep. And uh, you can have a look at the Fairlane on display there and have a look at what TI performance has up for grabs and is selling on store. Yes. And then on the 18th, that's when we go to the whole ass. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be 1000. So it's, we're going to be, yeah. we're going to be a big week coming up. <laughs> but. Michael, you got some news to share? I do, yes. Okay, so for those that you don't know, we have a Hack Shop Garage members page or a membership program that we do. You can head on over and sign up at our website and you get many benefits and those sort of things, You know, some of which include coming down to private member meets at the Hack Shop Garage factory. We do them every couple of months, something like that. It's awesome. But every month we give away a bunch of tools, like awesome King Chrome tools like this. This is a 96 piece portable toolkit from King Chrome. It's wicked. We use something very similar to this when we do drag challenges and such like that. This month's member winner 
is Joey Evans. So Joey Evans, congratulations mate, you'll find this, we'll get you this sent out to you as soon as possible. As for everyone else, if you want to be in the runnings for this, all you gotta do is sign up at the Hashtag Garage website and you could be in the winnings for stuff like this every single month. Oh, by the way, thank you to everyone that sent through photos of the throttle linkage for the HG. We really appreciate it. You can stop sending them now. We've got about a hundred photos of the <laughs> linkages of the HG. Greatly appreciate it, but yes, we know what we're doing now and we've got it sorted, so. We'll, we're all we'll show you where we're, all the parts. We've just stuck everything there. The only thing we're missing is this linkage. Yes, so that's the missing link. <laughs> we will get that soon. Oh, I've cut myself. Anyway, until we see you in the next episode, could be this, could be the Gemini. Nathan doesn't know that it could be the Gemini yet, but I kind of want to get that finished, so we'll see. Until we see you then, see you next episode. All the people that do everything in their driveway are laughing at us right now. Yeah. They're just like, bitch please. We sound so precious, don't we? Wouldn't mind a creeper though. <laughs> See, look, here we are again. Garage door is the hanging spot. Right where you're gonna walk. But you didn't bump into it though. Because I'm, I know it's there. I'm ready for it. If I hear the rattle can come out, I'm like, oop, better duck under the door. <laughs> just point out on a side note while you're sitting there looking like a school child waiting for the teacher to present the work today. Um, how good does this car look right now? Yeah, I know. Take all the wheels off it and you look at all it the work we've done. Huge. It looks wicked. <laughs> Can you meet me halfway? Right before tonight. It's where I'm going away. Don't wait. make me take the booster off again. For you. Can you pass me the... Anything else? I'm a... I'll just... I'm under here like you are, you know. I, you were already out though. But I was back in. Just when you get out, they get <laughs> back in. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, we've done brakes so many times, we've learnt that tight right? is not tight enough. <laughs> you need to physically reef it, and you need to get the giants from up above the beanstalk to come down and reef on it. That's how tight it needs to be to not leak. Oh yeah. And Michael can amen me on that. Oh yeah. Because I don't know how many times we're pulling on it and we're like, I don't know this is good, and it doesn't leak. And we've done brakes multiple, multiple, multiple times. You'd think we'd be good at them by now, wouldn't you? Still terrible at them. Are you using coffee cup? Because I don't want to pour it everywhere. Yeah, a little bit of coffee in your brake will go well, yeah. Yeah, brakes! <laughs> <laughs>